Hey guys, it's Kyle Lawrence, founder at The Smile Life. Today I had the opportunity to interview Natalie Haglund, USC alumni and current national team libero. So we have Natalie here. Natalie, you went to college with Kaylee, who we spoke with uh, last week. And um, tell us a little about, about what you do as far as sports and uh, kind of what your career looks like right now. Yeah, well, I graduated from USC with Kaylee. I was an indoor volleyball player my entire career, and I played with the USA women's indoor national team for since 2012, and kind of also had that Olympic journey with that team. Did not end up going to the Olympics, but had an incredible journey with those ladies. And um, I also played overseas in Zurich, Switzerland for two seasons, which was an amazing experience filled with a lot of ups and downs, but um, something that I would never trade for the world, absolutely. So um, now I'm here um, dipping my toes into the sand game, but also playing indoor as well and trying to figure out what's next for me. That's awesome. Uh, I know just from friends playing overseas and friends within the national team system, that's just a crazy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of time for yourself. Um, what do you do on like a daily basis to just kind of re-energize and feel satisfied? Um, well, when I was overseas, there was a lot of alone time, so I tried to find something that I was truly passionate about, and I found that writing was something that I loved, and I created a website and started um, writing to younger aspiring athletes and mostly volleyball players about how I got to where I was, or how I am today, um, how my teammates got here, and what the struggles we went through to had to get here. We know it's tough doing what we do every day, and there's a lot of things that people look from the outside and they say, oh, they never go through that. These are pro players, they're never stressed out. They never have bad games. Um, and for me, it was like, I have bad days all the time where I'm not playing at my best and you just have to learn to, you know, to find something, to get over that hump and to find something to re-energize you. So that sort of became my way to re-energize is kind of speaking to that younger generation and doing what I could to help them get through their daily life and daily struggles. You, you said writing was a way that you kind of get away and are able to experience mm -hmm. um, something outside of your busy schedule. Um, obviously, you've traveled a lot with volleyball. Is there any particular place that you just love and really makes you smile? Any place throughout the world? Yeah. Um, well, my hometown is my favorite place in the entire world. It's Encinitas, California. It has this great culture, great vibe, um, great surf life as well. And I would say not in the United States. Um, I loved Rio de Janeiro. I loved how bolsterous the people were in an amazing way. And they're so energetic and passionate for their everyday lives. And um, I mean, it's a beautiful place. So, I mean, how could you not love that? Right. Um, as far as balancing your team life and your personal life, um, what do just deep friendships mean to you? Are you able to keep in touch with a lot of your older friends versus your teammates? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, my friendships and my family are the most important things to me in the world. Um, I take pride in generating or creating relationships with people um, from every different area. One of my best friends is back in Zurich, Switzerland, and I lived with her for like two years, two seasons, and I love communicating with her, and she barely speaks English. Um, I mean, she speaks great English if she's watching, but... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it's really important for me to keep those relationships. Um, Especially my friends and family here when I was overseas, it's really hard to look at what they're doing in life and thinking I should be there. Um, and they kept telling me from a day-to-day -day basis, you're doing something that we wish we could do. So just take pride in that and know that the grass is always greener on the other side. Life will always be here. Um, just keep enjoying the journey and live every day like that. So. Um, and then I'm sure you've had friends and family come out to visit you and see you play, whether it's at USC or mm -hmm. overseas. Um, or when you're in the national team system, but what does it mean to you when you see a good friend or a family member or a fan just like give you the big smile? Um, it's the greatest thing ever. I mean, at every USC game, I would look up in the stands and my parents would be, and friends would be sitting in the exact same seat, line to line, and I remember looking at them and every time my dad would give me a big thumbs up and a smile, and um, that's the sort of reason why I kept playing, is I just loved that energy that we had. Um, and overseas as well, you create relationships with people that you don't know that well, and you learn to just love the people that are there for you and that are there willing to help you and are willing to just stand there and watch you play a volleyball game and how much um, support they give, so. 
um, with Kaylee's interview, we asked her like what piece of advice would she give to like the younger generation. Um, but with you, I want to ask you like, is there any small thing um, that you do on an everyday basis or a weekly basis that just makes someone's day? Um, well, I do a bunch of coaching in my off time. Um, any free time I have, I like to coach, and I absolutely love every single kid that I work with. And I love watching their development and the way that when you tell them that they're doing something well and when you give them a quick smile and say, like, that was amazing, and you can just see that passion like light their day. And they don't even know what they're doing and, and if they're doing it right or if they're doing it wrong. But that, um, I don't know, that passion that you give them and that energy to show them that they're doing something really special is one of the most amazing feelings ever for myself. And I know it is a great feeling for them as well. So. Can I agree more?